Yo, Kemba Walker is the number one role model in the entire NBA and maybe even in all sports right now. I absolutely love this guy and I'm about to tell you why. Boom, intro. What's up everybody, welcome back to Riding with the Knicks where I basically drive to work and talk about the team that I love, the New York Knicks. Uh, I'm a guy from New York, grew up in Staten Island, New York. I moved out to Ohio about 10 years ago. Nobody out here wants to talk to me about the Knicks, and so I figured I'd put some videos together and throw them up on YouTube and see if anybody wants to talk Knicks with me. Uh, this will never be a channel where I do a deep dive in analytics. It'll never be a channel where I do any kind of 2K stuff. Uh, this is going to be a channel where I talk about uh, the themes and the storylines that are coming out of the season with, with the New York Knicks. And uh, I'm trying to apply these things to life in a greater way. Uh, and so this, this story is perfect for that. This man, Kemba Walker, is a true leader. This man, Kemba Walker, is exactly what everyone's always said about him, which is like a team first guy. It's easy for people to say that stuff, but you find out who you are in life. You, watching this video, you find out who you are when things don't go your way. You find out who you are when, when, when stuff gets uncomfortable. You find out who you are when spe people speak hard truths to you. And, and you find out how, who you are because of the way that you respond. Um, there are quotes about, you know, of all different types of quotes about this. Like, but this is really this man living out on public display how to be a role model. And I don't, I don't know what's going to happen for him. I don't know if he's going to stay on the Knicks. I don't know if he's going to go elsewhere. I don't know if he's going to whatever. But I know that good things are going to come to this man because of the way that he's carrying himself. We've got, we live in a world today where people are like, you got conservative people that are pissed off about sports in general. They're like, oh, it's become too political. You've got people, we, we got people, sports major athletes that are like, I never signed up to be a role model for somebody. I'm, I'm, I'm doing my life out here, and and forget all of that. This man, Kemba Walker, has come in and stood up in the face of adversity, stood up in something that's so disappointing. These athletes, straight up, their entire identity from the time they can remember till while they're, while they're superstars is being this athlete, being this amazing um, athlete who's a starter in the league or, or, or who's hit game-winning shots at the buzzer in Madison Square Garden for national championship runs and stuff like that. That's who Kemba Walker is. And so... When, when someone says you are not that anymore here, and they have the authority, Tom Thibodeau said that, you are not this anymore. They're basically saying, and a lot of people take it this way, you are not who you think you are. And it's like an identity crisis for a lot of people, but not for those who are rooted and grounded in something deeper than themselves. And that's what it seems like Kemba Walker is. And so for that, if you didn't see the press conference recently where he's, when he spoke about it, I... I, I urge you to go and watch that. If you don't care about sports or if you got someone in your life who, you, who, do, you, who doesn't care about sports, have them watch it anyway because this man is saying like, he's sitting up there and taking questions and being the, 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 the classiest class act you can find. He's saying, hey, yeah, it's hard to hear, but I respect, I respect Coach Tibbs. And if this is what he believes is best for the team, I actually really am a team first guy. Like I'm, people don't just say this about me, this is what I am, and, and he's demonstrating that for us in his response in this video. He says he says things like, um, "Yeah, he just he's just demonstrating humility, which is 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 I feel like a a, a trait that that we should aspire to, but we don't anymore. Everything is is about social media following. It's about building your personal brand. Everything is about how can I make my name great, and and anything less than that is seen as like." conceding or it's seen as as people taking advantage of you or it's seen as um, of you not, not not living up to your full potential or not getting yours but there are people in the world still today and Kemba Walker is one of them um, who's saying no 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 I'm actually not concerned with me I'm not the most important thing in this conversation and he said that in that this isn't about me and he's not just saying that to sound good he said this isn't about me and a, and a, and a, a person asked him one of the one of the reporters asked him, you know, Tom Thibodeau said you're a starter in the league. He sees you as a starter, just not on this team. So are you going to go somewhere else to start? And Kemba went, ah, I don't, I don't know. But he said like, we're going to have to look at that. Like he can be real and honest and, and, and truthful. What he didn't do is say this is ridiculous. This is maltreatment, uh, malpractice. This is a uh, like evidence that this is a terrible run organization. He's not trying to 
trash to place on his way out. He's not he's, he's not demanding a trade. He's not Ben Simmoning, Simmons in it, whatever that would be. You know, he, he's not doing that stuff. He, he's saying, he's like, no, 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 I'm a professional. I've got a contract. I'm going to honor the people around me, even if I don't feel like they're doing the things I want them to do. And that is something that we need so desperately in our culture right now. That would, that would, that would mend brokenness. That would cross lines politically, socially, that, that would build unity. That kind of, that kind of, um, of character, that kind of personality is what's so lacking in our culture today. And so when I watch sports, when I watch a team that I love, the Knicks, um, I'll never be on the Knicks. I never aspired to be a basketball player, but I love it. Most people that watch these sports never had a sniff at getting in the league or getting in, in any of this or close to it. And so we get wrapped up in sort of some kind of fantasy, some kind of like almost a um, reality show. We're almost like we're getting caught up in like a, a reality show that's been going on for over a hundred seasons or 75 seasons at the Nick. I mean, if the, if the NBA celebrating 75 years right now, but do we escape into it to escape this reality that we're that we have to live in? I'm driving to work right now. You're probably maybe even watching this when you got something else you probably should be doing. Like, do we escape from this into that? Or do we pull valuable themes? Do we look to people as role models and leaders that we can pull things um, to make ourselves a better version of ourselves and how we live out in our lives and our communities and our families? Because that's what I think that we have an opportunity to do here with the example that Kemba Walker set. How can you um, be this type of humble, be this type of team first player in your family, in your community, in, in your school, in your, um, in your job? How can you break from the mold right now where everybody's saying it's all about you, social media, personal brand, get yours while the getting's good. How can you break from that and actually say, no, 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 I'm going to, I'm going to submit to who has placed an authority over me. I'm going to choose to be humble. I'm going to take a, a I'm going to take a more modest approach to life because ultimately I think if we can do that, if I can do that, if you can do that, if Kemba has demonstrated that, um, it's going to lead to fulfillment. The other way doesn't lead to fulfillment. The other way leads to always needing more, always wanting more. And so watch that uh, news conference. Watch how Kemba is responding when he's clearly hurt. Um, and I'm going to look into Kemba's life a little bit more. Uh, I'm even more interested in him than I was when the season started. Um, I'm even more interested in him than, than I was when I heard how people always spoke about this guy's character. And so I, I might put a video together about like five things you didn't know about Kemba Walker. Um, this man deserves our utmost respect. This man, and guess what? I think that if he stays in the Knicks, I think based on the way that he dealt with the situation, may be the, the, the door that he needed to go through to truly be this face of New York Knicks, this return to the New York Knicks. Because you don't know what's going to happen with Derek Rose's knee. We don't know what's going to happen in any part of this season. The Knicks might fall apart even worse and they say, hey, we got to get Kemba back in there and give him a shot. We got to try it again. And he might just go off. We actually don't know what's going to happen. But if he flipped out and forced a trade right now, he would never actually know um, what that future potential might have held. He right now is responding in a way that keeps all possibilities open to him. He's keeping peace with everybody. And people might look at him and say he's weak. He's not weak. That's extreme courage and strength. And that's something that I would aspire to. I hope it's what you aspire to. And I feel like if we had more of that in the world uh, today, um, we would have a more unified and more um, loving and more supportive community that we could pass on to our kids and to the next generation. So I'm a huge fan of the Knicks. They're slipping right now. But I think that we're setting up for an amazing story that could end with um, a playoff push that has Kemba Walker right in the middle of it. Uh, what a beautiful story that would be. Thank you so much for watching. I've got some other videos that I'm putting up on this channel. I'm just starting it, so we'll see what happens with it. I'm um, sharing the video if you like this and you want to share it with people who maybe don't even care about the Knicks, but care about uh, things like like being a good role model and setting a good example. Um, yeah, share the video. Comment if you have any any uh, anything to add on your own. Um, I'd love to read it and uh, be inspired to make more videos from your comments. So uh, this is it. I'm signing out. Ride with the Knicks. Go Knicks.